In this video, we will calculate the pHs of weak bases. So NH3 ammonia is actually a weak base. It's a weak source of OH minus. And in part B, pyridine is also a weak base. So it's a weak source of OH minus. But we're actually asked to find pH, not pOH. So how do I know NH3 is a weak base? Well, it's one thing. Ammonia is a classic example of a weak base. That's something we just... Um, Memorize, but you can also see here in a table from your textbook or any textbook, the internet, you can see here NH3 is a KB value, it's going to be 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. So let's go ahead and write the equation for the KB. KB now, so uh, KB means that we will have an OH uh, that's going to be liberated when NH3 reacts with water. In fact, that's where the KB is. A Ka would be an H plus that's liberated when the acid reacts with water. A Kb is uh, OH minus hydroxide ion that's liberated when the base reacts with water. So here's that equation. Basicity of ammonia, and remember it's a very weak base. So looking back at our table at uh, 25 degrees, remember these equilibrium constants get quoted at specific temperatures, so the Kb equilibrium constant for that reaction is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. How big it is, this unitless value tells you in what, how, to what extent the reaction goes in the forward direction. So now it's just a matter of ice tables. We use an ice table because these are weak bases and uh, not strong bases. If they were strong bases, we would have the luxury of just plugging it into our POH equation. So in our ice table, we have initial change and equilibrium. And so we start out with 0.10, and uh, initially we have none of this and none of that, or we can say zero. We don't care about water because it's a liquid. Some of it's going to go in this direction, so that's going to be minus x, plus x, and plus x. And at equilibrium, when all is said and done with this reaction, we will have 0.1 or minus x, plus x, and plus x. So let's figure out our Kb um, value, which we did. Uh, we got to figure out our x value, right? <clears throat> so Kb is going to equal to products over reactants. So that's going to be the ammonium ion, which is our conjugate acid to this base, times the OH minus, which is the conjugate base to this acid. Uh, all of that divided by NH3. All right, so I'm kind of uh, at a sticking point here because 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 is, uh, is, a, is a number that's not, not too uh, small. So if, uh, I'm wondering if I can use the ice table or not or whether I can go ahead and do the low ionization assumption. Let's go ahead and do the low ionization assumption after we plug in our appropriate values. So NH4 and OH- minus are going to be X and X, which is nothing more than X squared divided by 0 0.10 minus X. So let's assume X is small and very little of it goes in our forward reaction. If uh, the assumption fails using um, you know, the 5% cutoff rule, um, then we'll have to use the quadratic. Our goal is to avoid using the quadratic. But again, in our low ionization assumption, we assume very little of it goes into the forward direction, enough for it to go to measure pOH, uh, but very little of it goes to really uh, influence uh, the x value. So that very little goes this way. x is significantly small. So let's plug uh, that in. 0 0.10 minus x is just about going to be 0.10. Uh, this is called the low ionization assumption again. And it's kind of uh, the hallmark of saving ourselves from doing extensive quadratic equation calculations. So 0 0.1 times 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 is actually 1.8 times 10 to the minus 6 equals x squared. So x is going to equal to the square root of that. On my calculator, I'm getting an answer here of, and again, you're going to have to put the units here because it is a molarity. Uh, I'm getting an answer of 1.00134. The value of x, which um, hopefully we know is also the same thing as our OH minus, 
and the same thing as our ammonium ion. So now we have everything that we need to solve for pOH, and then from there we'll solve for the pH, right? So once again, our X goes here, which is our concentration of OH minus. So our pOH is minus the log of the OH concentration, pOH. So we made an assumption here uh, that uh, x is small, 0 .01, 0 0.10 minus x uh, is nothing more than 0 0.10, making the assumption that the forward reaction is negligible. We want to make sure our assumption is correct before we go ahead and quote this as the correct answer. So uh, the way we do that is we're going to take the value of x uh, that we found from our ice table here is going to be 0 0.0134. We're going to divide that by the concentration initially given to us, the concentration in the bottle, and the problem tells us that the concentration of this NH3 ammonia is 0.10. And we'll multiply it by 1,000, excuse me, we will multiply it by 100 to get it as a percent. Now, this percentage must be less than 5%. Okay, so multiplying it by 100 gives us a percent, this fraction. Uh, which is the percent ionization. If you have greater than 5% ionization, then this assumption is not correct. It's not valid. You'll have to solve for x using the quadratic. If it's less than 5%, then assumption is valid, and our answer is perfectly fine. We can go with it because the forward going reaction, the ionization reaction, the reaction going this way is, is very, very small. So doing this on my calculator and multiplying it by 100 to get a percentage, this is 1.3% ionization. 5% ionization is our cutoff, so we don't have to use the quadratic to solve for x in our ice table, and this remains our right answer.